What's up ninjas, it's your boy Onel here back with another FIFA Mobile video Last two Team of the Season dropped Team of the Season Cards UA, Team of the Season Liga And right now we have all Team of the Season teams complete We still have to get Ultimate Team of the Season in like 7 days Now I'm not sure what's that all about There might not be free to play We might get something free to play there We don't know exactly how it will look like Many people say it will be SBC based, I'm not sure about that. I hope it's gonna be something achievable for free to play because otherwise I don't see the point of putting another chapter there. But at the same time, if we are being honest, the players we got so far, the players that we can get through the points, they are very, very good. Now in this video, we'll talk about the best path to choose. And in order to do that, we have to review, of, of course, Ligue 1 and Calcio A team of the season teams now let's go ahead and start with Ligue 1 crazy players as you all know I'm not gonna talk too much about the players itself because that would take so much time we have crazy players we have Marquinhos center back we have 92 left winger Depay and 93 left winger Neymar they all have great great stats I think Neymar is achievable free to play you can get him if you really really like him I'm not sure if that's a good decision I wouldn't do it going on to Calcio A uh, we have some beasts guys. In Cards UA we have some beasts. Uh, I think Koulibaly is one of them. Where is he? Even Benatia. Benatia has great stats. Um, not the best sprint speed and acceleration. So that's a minus there. But at 100 base he'll probably be a beast. Um, yeah, PNH great stats. Koulibaly though he's very 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 tall. He's gonna be crazy in, ho in corners with that strength, that heading and that positioning. And of course 130 aggression. Icardi, great card, and Dybala, 93 cam, of course, he's a great, great cam. Now, in order to know what is the best path to choose, because I know many of you have stored their vouchers, and right now they don't know what to do, but here's a screenshot, a legend called B41Z3 on Reddit, did all this work, and in this screenshot, you can see all the team of the season players, and how much it takes to get them in the left side of this picture you can see them ordered by league and in the right side you can see them ordered by overall as you can see you have all the vouchers required all the points number required all that good stuff and if you don't see it very well on your computer on your screenshot on your screen at the moment i will leave a link in the description to the actual post on reddit you just click there and you're gonna see the big big picture with all that i'm talking about it's really useful you need to check it out for sure and in order to see which is the best path let's take a closer look at the 90 plus players at all the masters and how and how much it takes to get them so 90 rated cards the cheapest are at 192 points and we have Otamendi, Kimmich and Benatia all three are defenders Kimmich looks like he is one of the best right backs in the game. Benatia and Otamendi of course have great stats. All of the team of the season players guys have pretty much great stats. But in terms of what are the actual best players, I think Kimmich might be there. After that we have Piquet, community team of the season Piquet at 222 points. Ligue 1 Tovan at 222 again and Jovingo community at 258. For me this last three are not worth it just because you can see higher rated cards that cost pretty much the same la liga pk costs 237 which is almost the same as community pk and has one overall more from the 91 rated cards we can see that the most expensive cards are the community cards and yeah they are just not worth it so i would stay away from the community cards that's for sure but we can pretty much look at uh, La Liga Piquet. Carcio Immobile, guys, he's only 267 and he's a great card. Naldo, <laughs> Bundesliga Naldo, another one we should take into consideration. If we're gonna go for the Bundesliga Kimmich and Naldo, they could be really, really good options, guys. If we need defenders, of course. Moving on to the 92 rated cards, cheapest ones are Kane and Sergio Ramos. They are 327, very, very cheap. I don't really enjoy playing with Kane, so I'm not gonna talk too much about Kane, but Sergio Ramos is a hell of a defender. If you don't have his campaign version, you might wanna go 
for him. And even if you have his campaign version, he could be very, very costly. So maybe, maybe that's a good option. We're gonna see what I think is the best path after we review all these players and ratings. Again, as a 92 player, Griezmann is pretty cheap, one of the best strikers out there. Koulibaly is a bit on the higher side. It costs 417 vouchers to get him, but he's one of the greatest defenders in terms of stats and height. So uh, maybe that's a good investment. I wouldn't get Depay or Ricardi. They seem too much on the higher side. Now, you got the 93 plus players. If we get one of these players, it's really hard to get another master player because they require so many vouchers. So you have to be really, really, really careful. I think we have two 93 rated cards that might be worth it. I think De Gea is one and Rodriguez is the other one. They are one of the best on their positions and it requires 612 vouchers. Everybody can get those vouchers. However, however, it's hard to get another player if you get these ones. The other players, the, the other 92 players, Lewandowski, Neymar, Dybala, they require 747 vouchers. Yes, you can get them free to play, but at the same time, that's all you're gonna get. I wouldn't go for them and I wouldn't go for Messi, Ronaldo or Salah unless you're a big big fan and just don't care about investing some money. So which is the best path to choose? Well I think uh, our decision it's tough but it should be between La Liga and Bundesliga. I think in La Liga we have this crazy crazy opportunity and I think I'm gonna take this one. and. Here's what I'm talking about. We can get Gerard Piquet, we can get Sergio Ramos, and we also can get Antoine Griezmann. These are the three players that we can get them free to play with our points. I think this is the best value for money. Let's also check out the Bundesliga, um, the Bundesliga players because we also have some crazy, crazy offers here. Now we can get Kimmich plus Müller plus now though, this is our second option. We might actually have even some spare vouchers, so we might even complete some of the other ones, like let, like getting skill boosts and stuff. Uh, or, I'm not sure though, but we also could get Kimmich, Naldo and Hummel, so three defenders. I think this is better than getting Müller. Uh, I think getting Hummels is better. I didn't do the math yet. But it, I think this is possible as well. It should be, right? But that's pretty much it. And yeah, you're gonna get one 90 rated player and two 91 center backs, which are very, very good. But I'd rather go for Sergio Ramos 92, Griezmann 92, or PK 91. And, not or, and PK 91. So I think this is still our best choice. But I would still wait for the ultimate team of the season. You never know if we're gonna need your vouchers there and yeah I just don't see any point of not waiting seven more days waited like 30 days yeah several more days it's not that much I would still wait guys and I think that's about it guys that's what I would do I just think the La Liga choice is the best one or if you want really want the Bundesliga players you can get those ones but at the same time if you're gonna pick the La Liga players and you're gonna sell them you should be able to get the Bundesliga players cheaper we're gonna see how prices will be after the event we're gonna talk about that in a different video I'm gonna come with another video pretty soon we need to talk about some investing I didn't get the time to invest last night I had this crazy crazy workout session and I just didn't feel like sniping and yeah it was a very very good time to snipe now it's kind of, the opportunity is kind of lost player prices are a bit high but as I said, we're gonna talk that in a bit in a different video. We're gonna see if you still have good opportunities, all that good stuff. But as I said, that in the second video of the day. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Share if you think my content is worthy. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.